everyone. Today's May 12th, 2010. I wanted to talk a little bit about the government's finances. Uh, we got some updated information. It's always fun to look at their finances uh, because they're running the country so irresponsibly, financially speaking, and other ways also. But, um, you know, if an individual was to have these type of finances, they would have been done a long time ago. But individuals don't have printing presses, so government could just keep printing money. But that doesn't go on forever. So, um, you know, one other thing I wanted to mention was the food stamps. Now they're saying 40 million people are going to be on food stamps this year. So we got one in eight Americans on food stamps now. Yet if you watch CNBC, the consumers turn the corner. I've done videos on that. He's pulling out his wallet now. It's probably because he's not paying his house payment. He can take that money and go buy electronics and food and stuff. But anyway, things things aren't looking as rosy as they're made to be on television. And then o o uh, President Obama was telling us that, well, we gained 200 and something, 220,000 jobs, yet unemployment went up to 9.9%. Okay, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. Unemployment rate went up and we gained jobs in April, so. Uh, reason for that they're pulling jobs out of a hat that don't even exist that's a whole nother story but anyway, my, the re main reason that I'm doing this video today is I want to talk about the finances of the country and between October 1st and May 1st for those seven months the US government they brought in about 1.2 trillion dollars and they spent two trillion dollars so there's $800 billion deficit. And then in April, which is usually a month that the government has a surplus, they lost $82 billion. You know, people do their taxes, send a lot of money into the government, it's usually a surplus. They're losing $82 billion in April now. I mean, almost always a surplus in April. So things are just going downhill, you know, with the, with the national debt growing all the time. We're pushing 13 trillion right now. Just checked out the debt clock today. We're at like 12.95 trillion. So we're pushing 13 trillion. And you know, the, the biggest problem with this is this debt is what's going to bring this country down, in my opinion. You can't just keep building debt on top of debt on top of debt and bailing out other countries and bailing us out and printing money and inflating our currency to nothing. I mean, the debt is really going to take us down. You know, I remember something that I read Warren Buffett said, you know, debt is like having a dagger strapped to the steering wheel here, pointed straight at the heart. But one day you're gonna hit a pothole. That's you know that that's what what debt does to companies and individuals. And the amount of debt that this country has is you know astronomical. And so you know the the thing that'll bring it down is the interest rates. The, the, right now interest rates are you know 50-year lows. They can't stay there forever. The people aren't just gonna continue loaning us money. They gotta wisen up at some point. China and Japan, you know, citizens of this country, they're not gonna to continue to loan the government money at the interest rates that they're getting when they see the debt continue to just increase. Trillion dollars, 1.6 trillion dollars this fiscal year. It just keeps growing and growing and they're not just gonna keep loaning money without wanting a higher interest rate. So once the higher interest rates go up, you know, then you'll have the 400 billion, I think, now we pay in interest. It'll go up to seven, 800 billion. Pretty soon it'll be a trillion dollars in interest. And so interest rates have to go up. Again, there's no support to the dollar. The dollar's been rallying lately, but ultimately the dollar's gonna go down. And without higher interest rates, the dollar is gonna go way down. So, you know, the finances of the country are a total mess. And, um, I just hope that everyone's preparing for 
for what's coming down, you know, the storm that's on that's on the horizon. Because you got to have precious metals. That's your only way to fight what's going on. You know, that's that's the principal way to fight it. Precious metals. You see what's happening with gold and silver lately. Gold's making all all, all time highs yesterday, today, and silver's lagging. But you know, it looks like it's going to break twenty. Um, so I just continue to add to silver whenever I can. You know, hundred bucks here or there. Just continue, continuously add, nonstop, whatever the price is. I've been buying since around twelve. So you're getting your twenty. Um, just continuing to add silver. That's about it for now. Uh, talk to y'all later.